SMMA social media marketing agencies how to stay motivated for yours in 2020 let's get into this video straight away so by the way quick side tangent my name is Boyan for those of, of you that are new I make SMMA related videos and business mindset anything that kind of field in general Monday to Friday 6 p.m. UK time so subscribe if that sounds like you anyways personally there's no such thing as motivational discipline. Well, actually, there there are such things, but they just don't work. And I was even more convinced by this after I read the book Psycho Cybernetics, which I highly, highly recommend, by the way. It's, it's literally right here. And I found so much useful nuggets of information in this bit of book, book regarding like mindset, mental health everything that kind of thing related um, doesn't directly relate to business but it has some great pieces of knowledge in here so I highly recommend you check out this book but yeah anyways so yeah here's the thing personally I think like motivation and discipline is like a trend so in the beginning it was all about you know getting waking up being super motivated and everyone who need who wants to succeed has to you know have this abstract thing called motivation and drive but then it kind of was exposed and was like okay now you need discipline and what discipline is is like having using you know your willpower and like really grabbing yourself by the collar and be like work bitch work like that um, but here's the thing, what you actually need and what people don't talk about enough, and I feel like that's going to be the next trend once discipline and stuff gets exposed, and it's having the system, routines, and habits in place to really set you up for success. I mean, at the end of the day, for example, like, I'm human too, and if you think I wake up every single morning like this... Tell me, baby, can you see me? then you're just gravely, gravely mistaken. Because, you, you know, just even this week alone, like this week, today is uh, February the 1st I'm recording this on. So this past week, I've been completely just off my workflow. Like Monday I went clubbing, which meant I was hungover on Tuesday. And Wednesday I went out for dinner with friends. Thursday, well, this week I had like discovery calls already booked in and it was just, I didn't do any outreach. But for these discovery calls, I was able to bring massive value still regardless. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I had proposals to draft and everything else. But anyways, um, Thursday, I didn't do much. And Friday, I had a dentist appointment. And then, um, you know, I just took the rest of the afternoon off. Yeah, so what I m mean, what I'm trying to say is like this week, for example, even in my case, when I'm like normally quite disciplined and quite, you know, rigorous with my routines, I was even thrown off that workflow. Like, you can't rely on willpower alone because true success in its definition should feel effortless. And that's a very hard con concept to wrap your mind around, which is why I really recommend the book Psycho, Psycho Cybernetics because in it, it really breaks it down and explains like what the winning feeling is and things of that nature and really like dig deep into your mind to, you know, optimize it in certain little aspects and little ways. Highly, highly recommend that book, by the way. So if you're getting confused about what I'm talking about, either follow me on LinkedIn because I'm going to write a, um, I do book reviews every single Monday and yeah, follow me on LinkedIn and you'll be able to see like my own cliff notes, summary, um, takeaways from this book. So yeah, definitely follow me on my LinkedIn. Anyways, on with the video. So the way I like to think about, you know, systems, habits, routines to keep you motivated is like in terms of like bowling. So for example, uh, to a com complete like new beginner bowler, when you go bowling, can you rely on your skill and luck essentially to not throw gutter balls? Of course not. And that's essentially what motivation and willpower and like discipline essentially is. It's like bowling and relying on your skill and luck to keep the shot straight even though you have completely no idea what it's on about and the difference between using that versus like systems and habits is like systems and habits is like bowling with the guardrails up so it's just like yes you might still like sway side to side which is like what happened to me this week but you're gonna go down the right direction and you're not gonna fail completely so it's like you can throw as badly as you want, but at the end of the day, it's going to land and hit a pin or two at the very least. And that's exactly what systems and habits and routines is designed for you to do. And tomorrow's video is going to cover exactly what to implement, how to do it and why you should do it. So stick around, subscribe, like this video and yeah, watch tomorrow's video, which is coming out 6 p.m. But anyways, there's a few more things I wanted to talk about in this video. So yeah. 
Another massive part to staying motivated and like actually having the desire to put in the work is about compounding your smaller wins. So especially growing up in an Asian household, and I know a lot of my viewers out here that are Asian, you kind of grow up always being told, you know, like, this is not good enough, whereas, and you're never kind of rewarded on the small things. This is completely the wrong way to do it. So how you should do it is reward yourself for the smaller victory. So instead of, you know, setting your goal as I want to reach six figures, be like, you know, I want to do 20, I want to outreach to 20 businesses a day. And then meaning I'm going to hit a hundred businesses a week. And then I'm going to set five meetings this week. And eventually, eventually these small, tiny wins, these tiny actionable steps is going to compound, 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 compound to this big goal of yours. And it's really, really crucial that you reward yourself every small win. So for example, a good example and story I'd like to always refer to is, um, I remember a few months ago, you know, I completed the work for the day, but what happened that day was I overloaded myself with too much work and I was only able to get about like 60, 65% of it done. But then what I realized was, oh, you know what? Like today's workload that I assigned myself at the time, I wasn't at the capacity as I am right now in terms of output where, you know, if you gave me the same tasks now, no problem, I can handle it. It's gonna be like six to seven hours of work, which is quite normal for me. But back then, like forcing myself to focus like monastically for three hours was a challenge. So what I did was, okay, fair enough. Okay, boy, and you didn't complete all of the goals that you set for yourself, but you know, like you tried your best and you got a very solid amount of done for what was possible for you at the time. So, you know, I went to co-op, which is like literally down the road from where I live. And I went to the reduced aisle, which I always do because I buy a lot of clearance food. And I just bought myself a small pudding. And I ate that and I was really happy with myself. And that's how you should reward yourself every single day for these small little victories. So for example, today I'm making some noodles for myself. I'm not eating just like my normal healthy dinner. Uh, so I'm really gonna treat myself to a nice meal tonight. And yeah, that's gonna be my reward for today's hard work of filming five videos, editing them, and potentially scheduling and uplo uploading them. I don't know if I'll do that, but anyways, I'm going off on a tangent here. Back to the video. So reward is really, really important. Now you might be wondering, how do you reward yourself? You should reward yourself in ways that's not harmful to your workflow. So what I mean by that is, you know, don't reward yourself by going drinking with friends. Although you can reward yourself with that occasionally, but that shouldn't be like the first reward you go to. So rewards that you should go to is things that help you be present, stay, f um, reset your focus and really just recharge your battery. So if you're an extrovert, that could be like seeing your friend or, you know, going out for a nice meal with a few friends or like, you know, I don't know, going ice skating or something. Um, like that. Personally, I like to reward myself with a lot of food. So like if I work really, really hard that day, I'm not going to just have like a really healthy dinner. I'm going to spoil myself a little bit. Maybe like, I don't know, like put a bit of extra oil or whatever, like in my cooking or, you know, just reward myself with a donut or like any anything that makes you happy and gives you that small dose of dopamine is highly highly worth it as long as it's not detrimental to the next day or your workflow in the future another thing that's really important is just taking days off this is not a reward this is like you should build this into your weekly routine so every single week i try to take sundays completely off and what you should do during this day it's not like you know every once a week sundays you just go out get wasted and that's not going to positively impact your workflow for the next week what I do on th Sundays is I really just take the time to prepare myself for the next week, whether that be, you know, past few weeks I've been like uploading, editing and scheduling these videos, but that's because I haven't figured out like the best way to kind of do it yet. Um, so I'm still trying, trialing, erroring, a little bit of erroring um, with this kind of content creation model. But what I normally do on Sundays is, you know, I wake up same time in the morning. Um, sometimes I go for a little walk. I still meditate. I still do my morning routine. But during this day, I really just try to enjoy myself and do what makes me happy in the short term. So whether that be going to seeing, seeing a friend, making a nice meal for myself, or, you know, going to the sauna sometimes, anything that helps you be present with yourself and just not think too much about the week ahead or the week that just happened. So for example, I know tomorrow is gonna to be crucially, crucially important that I don't beat myself up for this week because 
I've I'm the type of person to really be harsh on myself and be like, you know, you wasted this week, so next week you have to work doubly as hard. That's not how it works. Don't ever try to, you know, for example, if you're supposed to work 12 hours in two days over the span of two days, don't make it so that, you know, first day you flopped and you only worked two hours, so you work 10 hours the next day. What you should do is just, you know, give up that forfeit that four hours, do the six hours of work, and then catch it up pro- like over time spread out over a week as opposed to doing it all in one day by the way if you found the tips on rewarding yourself and how and how to do it to stay motivated helpful drop a like on this video and comment what you do to help reward yourself and stay motivated so another thing is in um in terms of staying motivated and disciplined in smma in particular or any business that you're in it's about consistency as opposed to going all out in the Um, in the beginning. So for example, you shouldn't work like 80 hour weeks for one month when you first begin, just because your body can't handle the physical workload and that's just gonna burn you out. Remember how I like to think about, you know, like business, starting a social media marketing agency or just life in general, this is a marathon or literally I'd like to think of it as any sport that you play. So for example, like basketball, you wouldn't like gas yourself out and go all out in the first quarter because you're trying to win the game. You're not trying to win the first quarter. You know what I mean? Like you shouldn't tire yourself out by sprinting the first 100 meters. You should be pacing yourself and gradually building up that momentum and that drive to carry you forward. So how I like to look at it now is like, you know, I've already dedicated, I'm mentally prepared to dedicate my like two to three years of my time to this industry meaning I have to put in the consistent effort and try not to burn myself out after the first 60 days of me just like, you know, sending a hundred single, a hundred emails a day. That's not how it works. That's why I limit myself to like 10, 20 email outreaches a day with a few cold calls here and there to really just book in the meetings and be consistent and show up. So an Another major, major thing when it comes to staying motivated is focusing on the actions and the process as opposed to the outcome. Because, you know, if with the recent passing of Kobe Bryant, for example, if you're always try and this is what made me realize this, right? And it's like, if you always focus on the outcome, you're going to be always waiting for the outcome, meaning you never really enjoy the process. So how you actually enjoying, enjoy the process is truly find something that you enjoy doing. Like, Personally, I don't even know how if I like SMMA that much, but it's just something that, you know, I'm going to be patient with myself and I'm going to put in the work and see if how I like it a year or two from now. Maybe I'm not even going to be in the business two years down the line, but it's like, you know, like give yourself enough time and really just pace yourself through it. Because once you start focusing on the actions, the results are going to come anyways. So yeah, like even in the past two weeks, for example, I focused on my actions for two weeks in a row And I was sending out 20 email outreaches every single day. And from that, I was able to book five meetings. And out of that five meetings, three of them were highly, highly qualified. And one of them seems really, really warm and would be really happy to accept my services. So it's just like, you know, like it can really change very quickly for you if you just focused on your actions and be consistent with it as opposed to, you know, sending out 50 emails day one and just not doing any for the rest of the week. Because I promise you, that's not how you sustain and that's not how you play the long game in business. And the last thing I'm going to talk about in regards to staying motivated and disciplined is truly enjoying what you do. So what I mean by that is, is like, you know, if you don't truly enjoy something, you're not going to put as much effort into it as possible. But the thing is, with finding out what you truly enjoy doing, it's about trialing and erroring different things. So don't be afraid to change your mind. Like one of the things that um, Gary V said that was very like powerful to me was like, you know, people kind of imprison themselves in their own head because let's say like, oh, you know, like you told your mom, your dad, you know, oh yeah, I'm going to run a social media marketing agency. I'm going to make X amount of money, but in like three months. But then when you don't do that, and then you realize like, you know, SMMA truly isn't for you. Like working that many hours every single day is like really making you depressed and like severely impacting your friendships and just not good for you overall. Don't be afraid to change your mind because you find what you truly love doing by trialing and erroring different things and 
but not dabbling. So the difference between dabbling and really trying something is trying requires time and effort. Dabbling just kind of like you you like dip your toes in the water and like you watch a few videos on it. Don't do that. Definitely like give, put in proper consistent effort into anything that you do, but don't be afraid to change your mind and do something else once you've realized that this is not for you. And you know, that's not always the easy thing to do, like changing your mind because as I said earlier, you mentally imprison yourself and you're just going to be thinking like, oh, you know, I already told my mom, my friends that I'm going to do this. What, how would I look if I told them, you know, I'm just going to give up and do something else? Because here's the thing, like, if you do that, re honestly, like, I'm not going to lie, you'll look like a dickhead. But ultimately, the point is that won't matter because yes, you're going to look like a dickhead in the short run. But how you're going to win is you're going to eventually find out what you truly are passionate about and truly love doing. And you're going to be able to do that for the rest of your life. Isn't looking like a dickhead temporarily worth that? So yeah, I hope you have found this video insightful. If you have, drop a like and a comment on what you thought on this video or just DM it to me on my Instagram. And tomorrow's video is going to be exactly like the systems and routines that I follow and how you can implement them slowly and gradually, like the wrong ways to do it, the right ways to do it. And that's all going to come out 6 p.m. tomorrow, UK time. Subscribe for that with notification bells on and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye guys.